Welcome to this special edition of uh, Morning Market Call. Today I have with me Professor David Cottrell. David, welcome for being with us. Thanks, Bryce. Pleased to be here. So we're excited. He is the new incoming uh, accounting professor for the core, and so we're hoping to learn more about him. So, David, why don't we start out and just learn more about you personally, about your family life? Um, All right. Well, we've uh, doesn't seem like I've been here in Provo for 20 years. So my wife and I, we have five children. Uh, our oldest is just finishing his master's degree at BYU. Our second is midstream in a biology major. Then uh, our third son, so the first three are boys, our third son's currently on a mission in son. Arcadia, California. The three boys are followed by two girls. So our oldest daughter, fourth child, is now a freshman at BYU. And then our youngest child, she is uh, moving into high school next year here in Orem. So, so five kids, every, everybody's doing well, we think, we hope. Do you usually visit them? Visit them? Are you going to go to California and visit your son? When he well, he's on a mission, so I don't know. I don't think his mission president wants us to visit him too much in between. I'm not sure. We'll have to see on the pickup. We haven't yeah. really got there. He's got, you know, another nine months to go, so we haven't really got plans finalized when he's released. We'll have to take that as it comes. So, have you been at BYU the entire 20 years you've been here in Provo, or? Right. That's the reason we came back. Was okay. 20 years ago. It does it goes fast? It doesn't seem like it could be 20 years, but but I've been teaching here for 20 years. It's been great. Loved every minute of it. But that's what brought us back to Provo. Great. What What were you doing before? Well, right immediately before Provo, I was at Ohio State, or if, if you're a Buckeye, you could say the Ohio State University. So I was there for five years working on a PhD. Uh, I taught there the whole time, so I taught five years at Ohio State and. Prior to that, we were in San Francisco. I was working for an accounting firm, Ernst & Young, and um, up and down the West Coast for him. So How long were you at Ernst & Young? I was there about three years. Split my time between their consulting practice and their assurance service practice. So I had a good chance to mix with clients on kind of both sides of the accounting equation. Didn't do a lot in the area of tax, but a lot in the corporate reporting world. Okay. Well, we're excited that you're uh, here at BYU. Why, why did you become a professor? Well, it, when I went to school here way back when, so I did my undergraduate as well as my own master's degree okay. here at BYU, and, and back in those days, they had to hire graduate students to help teach some of the classes. So I actually cool taught question. at BYU. Hmm? Did you meet your wife here at BYU? Yeah, that's, okay. a, that's just, a bigger story than we got. To, but just had to find out. My one and only, I think, blind date of my life was, was my wife, and uh, set up right. by my father, if you can believe that. That's a whole story, and two and a half years later, we got married, so it was a little, little uh, maneuvering in between first date and final, you know, marriage date. But uh, it was all good. But we did meet here. Okay. Sorry for that. Let's go back to your professional um, about being a professor and why you became a professor. Yeah. So while I was working on my master's degree here. I taught at BYU. Our intro accounting class. This was, you know, <laughs> a few decades ago. Taught those classes and really enjoyed the teaching aspect of it, but was also excited to get out to the profession to do the things that I'd been teaching students about. Mm -hmm. So, really enjoyed uh, working in San Francisco for three years, a lot of good times, but in the back of my mind, I still had enjoyed that teaching experience and kind of came to the fork in the road, if you will. Either had to continue with the profession or if I wanted to get serious about teaching at a major university, I had to go mm -hmm. back for a PhD, and that's what right. led us to Columbus, Ohio. Okay. So, um, one thing we know that you're going to be the brand new professor here. You've been working as an associate director in the accounting program. So yeah, I'm, I'm the associate director of the School of Accountancy now. I've been for about three years, so I've been kept pretty busy on the accounting side of things. And this is the first year where it kind of worked out with schedule-wise, where I had some time available, and the MBA program had a need for somebody to come into the core to teach the financial accounting class. And I was fortunate enough to, to work it out that that could could be me. So I'm I'm excited yeah. to be here. Well, I do know you have some big shoes to fill. So Professor Curl Stice was our previous professor, and he wore a Hawaiian shirt every day to class. Is yeah, so there something you're gonna, something you can? Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think I could fit in Kay's Hawaiian shirt, you know. Plus, right. I, I, I kid him that, you know, he's the only one who could find the bargain deals and get these shirts that are Hawaiian made in Hong Kong, shipped through Singapore. I think he's got the, the kind of exclusive on those shirts. So I'll probably just have to settle for regular business attire. Right, so, but what would you consider your flavor? My flavor, I think, is just to, to have a, a, hopefully, a good time with the students every day in class, to get to know them as individuals, let them get to know me, and at the same time, push, push to understand concepts and, and do what I think we came to the university to do, which is to really learn a lot. Okay. Um, 
And what do you hope these, you know, after this first semester with the students, they're mm -hmm. all required to take this core class, mm -hmm. what do you hope they walk away with and what do they learn? Yeah. Well, I'm assuming walking in, some probably have a little bit more exposure to business and accounting and, and some don't. Mm -hmm. My understanding is some of the MBA students have, have already had a pretty good career in finance, but some are coming from a different background and this core is a chance to get everybody kind of in a common ground business-wise. And, and accounting, to me, the reason I teach accounting, it's my favorite part of business. It's, it's the one that really lets us know, did it work or not? So uh, I know a lot of the people teaching the core and they're just fantastic. I'm excited to work with this group of faculty. You know, my, my own view, they may not agree, but you've got marketing out here, it, it, making some plans to sell things. You've got operations and supply chain, plans to deliver them. You've got finance, that you're figuring out how to pay for some of this stuff. And it, it reminds me of when I was a kid playing sports. You know, would go down in the dirt and would draw out a play, or later on when you're in high school, the coach has got a little chalkboard and you're drawing up these plays. And it looks really fun to draw them up, but at the end of the day, did it work? Can you go out there and implement this and have success or not? And to me, that's what accounting does, is it lets us kind of get a measurement of how the sum total of all the parts really came together for the business and to see, did it work or not? So I really enjoy the chance to look at the company, see some of the different things they did, the different programs they had, the different buttons they pushed, the different levers they pulled, whatever they've done, did it work? How are the results when they have to report them in, in a way that's consistent with what the SEC and the financial world expects them to report, how did it do? And to me, that's the fun and joy of accounting is to figure that out. Great. We're excited to have Professor David Coulter here as, as our new accounting professor. Um, you know, big question accounting, does two plus two equal four? So please, we're glad, thank you for watching this special edition and stay tuned for more. MMC is brought to you by the Marriott School of Management in association with the Brigham Young University Department of Communications. MMC is made possible by a generous donation from Larry Tazjan and Gary Williams and is produced by Rhett Weller, Todd Castagna, Mason Chen, Joel Tovey, and Sabrina Beck with line producing by Kika Latu. For more information, find us on our Facebook and Twitter or at morningmarketcall.org.